All right, we got a Charlie going out for his first official off lead. Um, I've got his collar on a 15. And the first thing we're gonna do is go through the door politely. So I'm gonna open the door, want him to see it. That's a good boy, excellent, good boy, okay. Okay, come on, Charlie, excellent, very good. So he has to wait just a few seconds, he gets invited out. And then we move out here um, and he starts just being distracted. Oh, he hasn't been off lead out here yet. And uh, we're gonna start teaching him that he is responsive, even with the level of distraction that the big wide world offers. So I do all of my um, foundation work with, uh, start with a long line, teach them what that sensation means along with uh, calling their name. The next step is to put them in that yard right behind him and start teaching him in that small confined space and then we move out here to the big yard and uh, because there's so many more choices out here we've got to figure out what level he's responsive to but you can see he's not tuned into me at all at all all i did was open the door for him in his mind he is not with me at all so i'm going to start him right away i'm going to put my um, transmitter up so that you can see how long I hold the button, what level I use, what when I make those decisions, you can see all that happening live. So I wanna just follow him a little bit here. <clears throat> if I wasn't doing a video, I would have uh, already called him back to me. But here he's distracted. Charlie, Charlie, a little pressure. And he says he doesn't care about that level 15. So I'm gonna use the boost button, which is this red button here, and that's gonna increase this by five. It's gonna to go to a 20. Charlie, good, good. Charlie, so he looked up on his name that last time, and so he didn't get any pressure, but then he put his nose down and said, oh, I'm pretty busy doing this. So I'm gonna increase his level. I'm gonna start at a 20 and be able to boost him to a 25. Charlie, and I'm just trying to find a level that he responds to. So nothing there on a 20. And I do want to move here so I can see him. <clears throat> I want to be able to see his response. Charlie, pressure there. I'm on a 25 now. So I'm going to increase him up. I'm going to go right to a 30 because he's really completely not tuned into me at all. Charlie, Charlie, yes, good, good, good. All right, he definitely felt the 30, tilted his head a little bit. Good boy, good boy, all right. Good boy, Charlie, good. And he get when he gets to me, he gets a treat. <clears throat> good boy. So I let off that pressure just as soon as he moves towards me so that he can make that connection. And again, everything that's out here is way more interesting than I am right now. So my goal in this session, excellent, good boy. Hey, good boy. Good boy, Charlie, good boy. My goal is to have him start to connect the dots, that I'm important. He can do anything he'd like to do, but when he gets called, he has to drop what he's doing and move towards me. And uh, sometimes we see that in the first session. Sometimes it takes more than one. But there he's distracted again. So I'm backing away from him so that it's increasing the distance between us. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Good job. That a boy. Good, Charlie. Good boy. Excellent. Good. Good, good. That a boy. Very good. Very good. Great. So this level, um, 30 certainly seems to be good for good boy for this level of distraction and I will adjust it as needed but right now good he's definitely tuned more tuned into me than he was when he started so I'm just walking way up to the top here everything's fenced he can't go anywhere but a lot of times up here I get um 
increased distraction at the fence line. There he goes. Charlie, Charlie, yes, good boy, good boy, good boy, all right. So a little bit of a jump there, a little bit of a startle, good boy, Charlie, good boy. So I'm gonna turn him down to a 25. Good job, okay, let's go. Because I really don't want him to startle. I just want him to notice and to move towards me. But that's part of what this session does is it tells me what level I need with um, this level distraction. Nice job, good boy. Good, Charlie, good. And I'm using a lot of food here because that's one way that we can bridge that gap. And so he says, hey, as quick, quickly as I can get back, I can get a cookie. But I'm not using him to bribe him. I'm just using him to reinforce. Good boy, good boy, excellent. Very good, Charlie. Good. I'm going to walk back up towards the top of the yard again. All right, so this is a great time. Charlie. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Beautiful. Charlie, good boy. Excellent. Nice, fast response. Good. Short little uh, bit of pressure that he needed. Good boy. All right. Yeah, Charlie. Good, wagging tail. Good boy, okay. Very good. Try just, I'm just randomly wandering around when I do this. <clears throat> Beautiful, walking right next to me. Very, very good. So what I'm hoping for now is that he gets involved in something again. Now, if he doesn't, if he stays tuned in, that's a great thing too. Because that's telling me that he understands. Yeah, good boy. He understands that I am important. Excellent. Oh, yes. Yes, good boy, Charlie. Good boy. Okay. He's super smart, uh, which is no big surprise, right? Good boy. Excellent. So you can see in uh, seven minutes, he has changed his mind in terms of my level of importance. So he's trotting away again. We'll call him from there. Charlie, Charlie, little tap. So that was a little high. He gave me a big startle again. So I'm gonna go back down. But again, this is, this is what this session's for. We usually start up higher and then get lower. Good boy. Good boy, good boy. Yeah, good boy. All right, Charlie, excellent. So I would have addressed that a little bit sooner if I wasn't videotaping because I'm trying to explain what I'm doing and he gave me that startle. I would have immediately turned it down and immediately gone to a lower level. Um, it turned out to be fine. He, he ended up moving right back towards me um, without actually any additional pressure. Um, but when we're timing an off-lead dog, uh, it does benefit you to be a little bit quicker on that. Excellent. Oh yeah, I know, it's warm. So warm this evening. It's just hot and humid and it looks like it's gonna rain, maybe a thunderstorm. Um, but at least the sun's not beating down on us. All right, so I'm still on a 20. I'm gonna try calling him without any pressure, but I'm gonna pressure if I need it. Charlie, quick tap. All right, good boy. So still a little bit high. So remember I brought him out on a 15. That was the max that I have ever needed until we got off lead out here. And so now I'm back down to a 10. Good boy, because I want the lowest level that he responds to. I don't think I have a lot of dog left here with this humidity. Charlie, Charlie, little quick tap, yes, good boy. And that 10 
was much better. He just tilted his head. Good boy. Charlie, good boy. He just tilted his head and uh, immediately moved towards me. So I'm gonna turn my camera off. I think we're gonna do maybe one or two more recalls, um, just cause you can see he's panting pretty well there. And then get him back in. I'm about to, um, the air's been on all day. They've, I've had the doors open for about an hour. I think I'll probably um, feed everybody, turn the air back on again, and let everybody stay nice and cool. But there he is. He's coming along very nicely, very pleased with him.